This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So guys, once again I'm back. And uh, this time I'm going to explain an interview question which was asked by an interviewer recently during telephonic round. Uh, I'll just make you uh, listen uh, the recording also. You just uh, listen what question has been asked by uh, the interviewer and what reply has been given by uh, the candidate. Even I have noted down the question also. So you can refer these questions while listening. So let me play the audio, listen the recording, and even simultaneously you can read out the questions so that you'll be able to uh, understand about the questions clearly. Let me play the recording. Yes, uh, for a particular deal, line item display was not taken. And uh, many transactions are posted into the DL. Okay. Okay, now we just require that uh, that DL should have been uh, marked as a line item display. Right, right. So, first thing, uh, is it possible to do? Yeah, it is possible to do that. How do we change the game settings? Uh, you can make it uh, as a magnet display. Uh, ending and even if the entries are posted into that DL. The entry which are posted into that GM, which might not be uh, uh, reflected, but the, the, the the traffic which are going to be done will go, uh, will be reflecting in the line item display. Okay, so the how you will tackle with the old line items with all the document numbers which are already posted in that year. Um, so, so I think uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't have an idea what. Okay, guys. So here, uh, the ultimate ultimate answer was, and the final answer was uh, no idea, right? So now here, I'll just explain the question. It's pretty simple. The question was like, for a particular GL line item display was not checked. The check mark was, uh, you know, that check box was not uh, uh, selected uh, by the user, and many transactions. GL was created and then many transactions was posted into that GL. Now the requirement is that line items should have been marked. It, it means like line item display supposed to be that check mark supposed to be applied over there. So now interviewer is asking, is it possible that somebody has user has created and forgotten to apply a check mark and transaction has been posted, several transactions posted. Now second, now after that they are uh, you know going to apply this check mark and all. So is it possible? Is it possible? So to do, so the answer is yes, it is possible. Now, I'll tell you guys, if somebody is going to ask some such kind of questions, then, and if you say yes, then get ready, you should have the logical answer because uh, the next question will be how it is possible. So look at here, how to do it. Now, the answer is not satisfa satisfactory. We can change the GL setting and we can make the line item display. So guys, uh, do you think that it is this much simple? If it was this much simple, then I don't think that the interviewer is going to ask these questions. I'll just do one thing. Why not to check this practically itself so that you guys will have a clear picture. Okay, so we'll do one thing. Let me log in first. Let me log in and then uh, use FS FS double zero transaction code will create a GL. <clears throat> I'm going to create a GL. <clears throat> Any GL, let's suppose. Uh, let me change the company code here. Press enter. Now I'll just create a GL. Any GL, let's suppose lots of test GL has been created. I'll just. Okay, so we'll do one thing. So now uh, we'll create a GL. Just copy this rent GL itself. Copy this rent GL and I'm going to create a GL, let's suppose 4010. Okay, this 4010. And press enter. 
now. So just make it like test GL, any name we can give, test GL1. Okay. And click on control data. And here I'm going to remove this line item display. It means user has forgotten to apply a check mark to apply a check mark on line item display. Now just save it. Now look at the impact. This is just a warning message which is most likely going to be ignored by users. So press enter and we are also going to ignore it. Now, so what we have done, we have forgotten to apply a check mark on this line item display, open one more screen and now we'll post certain transactions. We'll post certain transactions, use transaction code. We are going to post certain JV, use transaction code FB50. Press enter. Now, just give any you know, date. Let's suppose I'm going to post certain transactions in previous date. So, uh, what is the GL number? 4010, right? Debit. Let's suppose amount is 1000. And uh, any GL, credit GL we have to give. So, I've given bank GL. And in that also amount is 1000. Press enter. So number range is missing for fiscal year 2018. Somebody has changed the number range here. Let me do one thing. So if you get number range related issues, so what we have to do, we have to use transaction code OBA7. Use transaction code OBA7. And click on position. Use asset document type and make it 01 because I've created 01. Press enter and once again come back to come back to here FB50 transaction code. And once again we have to post this FB50 because error has taken place. So FB50 once again. Now give the date. And then these are the two ZL and here uh, 1000 and 1000 press enter and then post it. So we have posted one transaction. Likewise, we are going to post another transaction also. Again, uh, this is credit and let's suppose right now 1500. And which is the GL? Our GL is 4010. So in this GL, we have forgotten to apply a check mark line item display 1500 give amount. Just post this one also and I'll post one more item because so give a different date. I'm going to use like let's suppose 25th here on 25th. Just copy and paste it. And then here give your GL uh, 4010, that is debit, now 2500. And here uh, GL again 1000, any GL you can take, there is no restrictions that you have to take bank GL or any. It is, this is just a normal general voucher guys, JV. So just post it. Now, so what I have done guys, I have posted total three transactions. Total three transactions got posted. And look at here, look at here, the line item display, I have forgotten to apply a check mark. So if you look at the FBL3N report slash NFBL3N report, just see here what is the impact. Click on execute. So line item wise, we cannot see the report or balances. Line item wise report is not possible to see. Why? Because we have we have our user has forgotten or you have forgotten to apply a check mark over there right so what was the question here guys the question was that is it possible to do line item display is forgotten now the requirement is that this supposed to be marked as a line item display it means the check mark supposed to be so we have to apply a check mark now is it possible to do the answer is yes it is possible to do so the next question is how to do it. So here the answer is we can change the GL setting 
and we can make it line item display. So guys, I'll tell you if it was that simple, if it was that easy, then interviewer is not going to ask these questions. If interviewer had asked these questions, of course, there are some more steps involved. It's not this much easy. So what is happening? Why not to why not to check it? So the candidate is saying that simply we are going to apply. Click on edit button and simply we are going to apply a check mark here on line item display and save it. So we are going to apply a check mark here and then everything is going to be fine. So now I have applied a check mark and once again click on this line item display. FBL3 and report still we are not getting we are not getting the balance. So how it is possible guys? So right now line item wise report you cannot see but of course we are having options. We can use FS10 and you can use FS10 and by that you can see the report. You can see the report but in that look at here cumulative balances are appearing. Cumulative balances means look at here the total debit total debit and total credit period wise it is coming in 10th period we have posted a transaction worth of 5000 rupees but again this 5000 worth of transactions this is the combination of three different transactions guys right the 5000 balances in that there is three different line items are there one transaction i have posted worth of 1000 second i have posted worth of 1500 and third transaction i have posted worth of 2500 so total 5000 worth of transactions i have posted this is what is being shown here so line item wise is not possible however you can see the debit credit balance uh, you can see the uh, you know debit and credit balance here by fs 10 n but our requirement is to see fbl 3 n line item wise report so what we are going to do guys then in that case we have to follow certain things like we have to follow certain steps what steps i'll let you know the first step we are going to do the first step we are going to the first activity or first step we are going to perform is first of all you have to apply a block apply a block on this gl whatever the gl this 4010 right so in first step what exactly we are going to do our first activity just apply a block so click on block button and uh, position a person on gl account so we have to uh, just press enter and where is the 4010 here here is 4010 so click on now block first of all you have to select this jail and then apply block for posting and block for posting at company code level itself what why because the next step whichever i'm going to perform that is also going to perform at company code level itself so apply a block for posting at company code level and then just save it so what first activity what is the first activity guys the first activity we have to block the zeal what is the next activity the next activity is then you have to apply a check mark on line item display so you select this and click on edit and click on control data this check mark i have already applied here just for testing purposes so no need to perform this but second second activity is you have to apply a check mark here on line item display so that is already done so we have performed the two activities just save it and press enter now what next the next the next step or next activity is run a transaction code fagl underscore activate underscore it it okay fagl underscore activate underscore it this is the transaction code this transaction code transaction code you have to run just press enter and run this transaction code so what we have to give TM02 that is your company code and then what is then your uh, GL account number so 4010 and document number even if you don't give the document also guys it is going to work out if you execute it is going to work out but if you want to go for more accuracies and all then you have to give the document type let's suppose now the problem is how many documents we have posted we might have posted 50, 60, 70, 80 documents, 10 documents, 15 documents, right? In this sense, these many transactions are posted. So how to get the document number? That is also, that is also a question. So we'll do one thing. We'll create one more system. 
now so the document can be we can get all the documents from table so use se16 transaction code press enter and whichever documents are getting posted whichever uh, line items are getting posted those data are getting stored in which table guys it is getting stored in bsec table b s e z bsec table use bsec and press enter give table name bsec and press enter now here we have to fill up the details so these all name whichever is appearing is technical name guys booker smith booker is for your company code Belnar, B E L N R is uh, this is document number G A H R. I guess this is fiscal year, financial year, and this is this is for I think line item or something will be there because technical name it's it's difficult to remember guys. Why? Because this is not our part. We are having the standard name, company code, fiscal year, right? And this H K. Uh, H not means this is for G L. So okay, why to? Uh, you know what to say guess we'll do one thing you click on you click on setting and click on user parameter and then we'll do here just click on field level so now press enter look at here all the standard name are appearing okay so we have nothing to do with the technical name now the standard name is appearing company code so our work is going to be easy so now here we have to give company code tm02 and then document number we don't know right so fiscal year you have to give 2018 even though it is 2019 but still we are in 2018 why because our financial year is uh, from uh, april to march so this till this march we are in uh, till the march we are in 2018 itself now you have to give gl account there might be a possibility guys if you are going to use this bsec table and also gl account will not appear in your in your screen if you are doing practice in a different server so what you have to do for that you have to click on setting and click on field selection because gl account is required okay click on field selections and then click on find button and if you click on find button then you have to type h k h k o n t this is the technical name of gl account even if you type d slash l then also gl account will come but several selection criteria will come and that is going to make you confused so i'm going to give the technical name hkont and press enter so once you press enter look at here it is appearing then you need to double click on this and then you have to apply a check mark and then you need to press enter in my case it's already appearing i've already done the setting so this is appearing now give 4010 as your gl account and then execute this transaction look at here till now three transactions we have posted all the document numbers are also appearing okay so for you guys the question is then why can't we see the balances at table level itself but i'll tell you guys end user will not be having access of this tables and all okay they can they can view the reports through a standard transaction code itself now so just you do one thing copy this all document number how to copy control y control y and then drag it so we have copied all this even if the document numbers are more then we can uh, we can uh, we can go to say uh, export this in excel sheet and how to do this already i have uploaded a video uh, related to this like there was a topic called mass change in that i have explained how we are going to download this into excel sheet so anyway now we are having few transactions so we have copied this now what next what next so come here on this which transaction code on fagl activated we are on this transaction code right so here in document number field you need to click on multiple selection this right word arrow and then click on upload upload from clipboard click on upload from clipboard so what is happening whichever the document number we have copied that is going to appear here automatically and then click on execute here here execute button or copy okay so now all the document number is appearing so what we have to do what next click on execute so once you click on execute this is the log which is generated don't look at this now what is the impact the impact is now if you want to look at the gl account is 4010 right now if you want to check the report line item label line item display or fbl3n report just execute it 
Now look at here what is happening. Now look at here all the documents are appearing. appearing. So it means all the line items are appearing. So this is what we have to do guys. What is the question? Question already explained. The question is already explained here that for a particular line, uh, for particular GL, line item display was forgotten uh, to check. Now there is a requirement to apply a check mark on line item. So what is the steps? What do you have to as a consultant? What steps we are going to follow? So don't say simple answers that we have to apply a check mark. Only by applying a check mark, you won't be able to meet the requirement. The answer will be you have to say this. You have to say that yes, we have to follow certain steps. In that case, what is happening? First of all, whichever GL account is there, that GL need to be blocked. And then in second steps, we have to apply a check mark on line item display. And in third step, we have to run a transaction code FAGL underscore activate it. And then we have to give all the required input. And once we execute, then this GL is whatever the previous transactions were posted, those transactions are going to appear in the sense we can see the balances line item wise or we can see the FBL3 and report. This is what uh, this is how you have to reply guys. And uh, so that's all guys. That's all in this session and one message to everybody guys. Uh, I know that most of uh, you uh, are the candidate student. It means might have taken training or might be taking training from somewhere. So guys, don't go for blind configurations. Blind configurations in the sense, simply if you uh, keep on learning how to create company, how to create company code, how to create chart of account, you guys are never going to be a consultant because this is not being asked by people. You must be having logical, uh, what to say, uh, you must be having the conceptual knowledge and apart from this, you have to give the logical answers then only it is, uh, you know, everything is going to be okay and then only you will be able to settle down your career uh, as a SAP consultant. Uh, yesterday itself, I got a call from uh, one of the guy, one of the candidate uh, uh, and he said like, so I have already taken this training. Now I want to go for project training. I'll tell you guys, of course, project training also play a crucial role in terms of your selection. But here, Project training or, or whatever the project knowledge I'm talking about project training. I'll not say because there are lots of frauds are happening at the name of project training itself. So now here, uh, if you talk about the project knowledge, of course it is required, but the project knowledge contributions is happening, uh, having only 15% of the questions or 20% of the questions are going to be asked from your project. Whatever remaining 80%, remaining 80% of the questions are going to be asked by people uh, from the things which you have already, already learned in the sense, all the configurations, whichever you have done, uh, done from those configurations, people are going to ask scenario based questions, right? So even I also asked one question from that guy. It's OK. You can go for project training. But what about the things which have already learned? He said like, no, I'm having very uh, good uh, what to say knowledge on this configuration part. I asked a pretty simple question and the, the question was, let's suppose once we post a JV, once you post any transaction, let's suppose, say, for example, FB50. Right. Once you post a transaction through FB650, system is going to generate a document number. So where this document number is coming from or how this document number is getting generated? What is the logic behind this? OK, I'll tell you guys, you will be very much surprised the by listening the answers that candidate or uh, that guy was saying that, yes, sir, it, this document number is getting generated from transport request. So I'll tell you guys. This is not at all a mistake. This is called blunder. So mistake is OK, but blunder is that cannot be accepted, right? Because even I am also a real time consultant or whoever the consultant or whoever the interviewers are there, they are also human being. They're also having the same emotions, sentiments and uh, even sometimes we also become angry, but angry doesn't mean that we are going to shout on somebody. So here simply interviewer will say that, OK, dear, it was nice, nice, you know, what to say talking to you. So we are going to uh, wind up the call here itself. If you're shortlisted, HR will get back to you. It means he is saying that HR will never get back to you. OK, so I'm just saying that don't make such kind of blunder. If I have to like if I'm asking where is the capital of Mumbai? If you know, sorry, where is the capital of Maharashtra? If you know, you just say uh, Mumbai. If you don't know, just say that I'm unable to remember. I need to update it instead of saying Bangalore, Chennai or Hyderabad, right? But here, if somebody says, yeah, the capital of Maharashtra is London. 
what is this this is not acceptable right so anyway guys just have uh, you know conceptual uh, what to say knowledge ask lots of questions from your faculty uh, just raise your questions what will happen if i apply a check mark here what is the impact if i don't apply a check mark here this is how you guys are going to be stronger so just have the conceptual knowledge and give the logical answer so that's all from my side guys and that's all in this session and do subscribe this channel for more videos and update guys if anybody is looking for sap pico online training then you can visit my website kumarconsulting.in or even you can call me and give a number the number which is specified here so thanks for watching guys see you soon in a next video with a new topic till then just till then just keep watching my video keep enhancing your knowledge keep growing wish you all the best bye bye have a good day